Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making breadsticks. I absolutely love breadsticks, especially on a cold uh, winter day. I love just having cups of tea and breadsticks with some cheese. Love it. A lot of people say, oh, what's the cup then? Do you know what? As long as you're using the same measurement, it doesn't really matter. Um, they're not going to be that accurate. So, three cups of um, mugs or cups of... Just a minute, just open that up. Into which I've got one tablespoon of sugar. Into which I'm going to be adding one heat spoon of yeast and one heap teaspoon of salt into which I'm just I've got uh, warm water just make sure you've got warm water just gonna add a little bit of that at a time just mixing it in two tablespoons of um, olive oil and I want to give all that a good mix until it all combines together just add in water if it needs to be want the dough to come together so don't be full that it's not um, wet once you start really mixing it in it will pick it all up if it don't then obviously add a drop of uh, water or oil but it should pick it all up so keep on mixing it about five six minutes like this keep on kneading it and it will pick it all up like I said if it don't just add a tiny bit more water as you can see, you think it's all dry, but as you're mixing it up, kneading it like this, it does pick it all up. At this stage, we just want to work on this now. Just keep on working on it until it becomes um, smooth, kneading it like this. Just pulling it and pushing it, pulling it and pushing it. So here we are, after just working on it this way like this for about five minutes or so, your dough is ready. Then you can either um, cover out with cling film or put it back into uh, your dish. Just going to have a little bit of um, olive oil in my hand and just... leave it to rise okay guys I've had mine rested in there for half an hour just wanted to show you um, I'd like to cover my red sticks with sesame seeds so I've got some sesame seeds I'm just going to put that in a, in a little container and then I've also got some roasted um, sesame seeds, so I'm going to put a little bit of that as well. And then I've got some poppy seeds, I love these, so I'm just going to put some of that in as well. And then here I've got some anise seeds. Uh, seeds. They're quite um, fragrant, and I love these, so I'm also going to put some of these as well. And so you can add uh, more or less, whatever you like. But that's the mixture. I've got it in a little Pyrex. Now I'm just going to take my pastry out and just work on it a little bit. So you just want to keep working on your pastry to get it nice and smooth. So I'll do that now. So I have used just ordinary or purpose flour. You could use uh, bread flour, wheat flour, whatever you like. So anyway, after you um, 
knead it for a little while. What you want to do is cut it into pieces. Have a little bit of olive oil in a plate. The reason I'm doing this with olive oil is I want it to be a little bit sticky. So when we put it into the mixture, it's going to pick up all them lovely uh, seeds. So just rub your hand from the middle, pushing it outwards. We want to cook this in a slow heated oven. The reason being is if you cook it on a high temperature, you're just going to be cooked on the outside, round off, but it's not going to be crispy on the inside. So make sure that it is um, on a low heat. 150 degrees I'm going to have mine and just do it really slow. I just wanted to get just going to dip it in here and then put, get your baking tray with um, grease proof paper or greased tin and then just put them into your tin so you could make them um, little ones any size you want or you can make them um, little round ones like this like so and then dip that into your seed as well and then just have them on your tray I'm going to make mine all long ones so just keep cutting pieces off and then dipping your hand in olive oil and then just start uh, rolling them out to the same sort of sizes same sort of thicknesses so like I said the reason um, we put our fingers in olive oil is so that it makes it sticky and you just roll it from the middle going outwards uh, and then we just I made this big so I just cut it in half and then you just dip it into the, all these lovely seeds they give it a nice flavour and then just um, have it on your baking tray outwards unfortunately my yeast um, I don't think my yeast is working. I think where I've had an open pack, um, it's lost its strength. So unfortunately, my um, pastry is not risen. So yours will turn out a lot better. So just keep rolling it out like so, from the middle to outside. Your pastry will be a lot better than mine. Baking tray until they're crispy enough, until they're golden. Uh, I'll check on them in about half an hour's time. So at the moment I'm putting them in for 30 minutes and then I'll come back and let you know how we're getting on. Okay guys, it's now been half an hour since my lot been in the oven at 150 degrees. As you can see, they're nowhere near done. I just want to turn them round and then pull them back in. Uh, what we're going to do is take one out. What you want to do is let that cool down, and then once it's cooled, we're going to break it up and see if it cracks. Okay, so after it's been out for 3-4 minutes, we're now going to do the test. What you do is you go, nope, it's still soft. It needs to crack. So we're going to leave them in to cook a bit uh, longer. I'll put, leave that to cool for 2-3 minutes and then I'll come back and crack that and see if that pops. And that's how we test it. 
okay it's now been in the oven there for one and a half hours I'm just gonna crack it yes did you hear that crack that's what you want You can hear me as I'm eating it away. It's really nice. I'm now going to turn off my oven. Well, here we are. After an hour and a half on 150 degrees uh, in the oven. You've got all your seeds flying everywhere. Can't stop eating them there. Mmm. the cheese and a cup of tea lovely mm. just put them in a, a sealed container and they'll be fine great honestly uh, rather than eating biscuits you're better off eating these tasty uh, and then pick up all these seeds mm. delicious give it a go let me know how you get on Thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye for now.